Hey YouTube, how you doing? Uh, my name is Mike. I think I'm going to start making videos on uh, how to do small engine repair. Uh, you know, Chinese ATVs, Chinese uh, mini bikes, things of that nature. You know, just some of the common problems they have. You know, I see a lot of people doing it, but I, I don't see a lot of uh, questions that are really, I don't know, fully addressed. They're, they're just, you know, little pointers here, 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 do that. And, I don't know, there's not a real full detail account of how to do it, so I'm going to try to enlighten some people and uh, see if we can't learn some of this stuff together as we go, because I, I sure don't know everything, so uh, today we're going to repair a switch, you know how they don't, they don't start all the time because that little switch goes out. So anyway, just to give you an example of some of the stuff I'm going to be working on, there's that little mini four-wheeler right there. And I'm also going to do a wiring diagram on how to how to actually get those things to run without all like all those wires because you don't need any of that stuff unless you want the lights, of course. But 90% of that junk on that thing is lights. Uh, got a little Suzuki here. Got me a little uh, Chinese moped that we'll be doing work on. Something I just recently bought not too long ago. Got uh, the old cow tie over there, 125 that didn't have spark and uh, what else did I have? It didn't spark. Oh, it wouldn't even turn over because of what we're fixing to fix right here. So that's a very common problem. There's my Honda and my Canans in the in the trailer, which isn't here. So anyway, I can see we're gonna have some focusing issues here. So let me see if I can get this thing to focus. That's something we're going to have to work on. The switch. We can get it up nice and close, though. That's good. All right. So let's check it out. So basically, I've taken the switch. You've all seen them. It's got some hard component issues there. This doesn't work. You know, they get, over time, they get arced. You know, and they don't they don't make contact anymore so basically all I've done is I've taken the two screws out you know you'd loosen it up take the hand grip off if you can't get the hand grip off you just take the two screws out here <clears throat> you know you just take the two screws out and pull all the way apart and then there's a couple of little screws in there holding a little clip now I figured y'all could figure that out uh, I mean they're very basic when you look in there you'll go oh. so it's real simple and then I just pulled the little button off right there. So the next thing I do, and I just use the fillet, a flat head. Son of a gun. Always at the most inopportune times. I'm not going to start this video over because of that. This is the first one, so it can be buggy. I don't care. So anyway, you got the little switch here once it comes apart. And you've got your, you know, you pride your little, you just kind of wiggle it. You don't want to break that little tab off when you're getting, the, when you're getting this off. You know, it's on there. So you just want to kind of wiggle it back and forth till it pops off real easy. Go on both sides of it so you don't bend it. <laughs> anyway, this little thing here, I'll go ahead and show you. was held in there like that. It just holds down the wires. You got to take the screw out, pull it out. No big deal. Same thing with the switch. Right here, Let's see if we can get some light in there. You see that little screw hole right there? There's just a little screw in there. So once that's out, you can remove this switch. And basically, I just put a screwdriver behind it, and you just pry it real easy because it's just locked in. It's just locked in with a little nub right there. See it? So you just pop it out, and it goes in that little that little slot right there. You know what else is going to help? Let me try some out. Let's see if this helps. So now that we got the switch out of the way, you can see, is that too much light? It's kind of hard to do in the camera. Yeah, it's too much light. Let's move this over here a little bit. There we go. You can see the little nub right there where the little nub locks in. Anyway, 
as you can see down in there, you got a little, let's see, and it lights it out, doesn't it? See that little pin right there? There's a little pin right there that you can see, and you got a little plate right here. This little plate just slides out. But what you do first, get your pair of needle nose, just pull that pin straight out, just like that. What happens then is this button will come out this side first. Because see, it's got that little lip that captures it in there. <clears throat> and then be careful because there's a spring. And note your orientation on this little piece that's in there. There's a little spring in there. And then under it, or on top of it, is this little thing. So you can see one side's longer than another. So make sure you know which side goes where. So what happens is, I don't know if you can see it. Let's see if I can get this thing to focus. Get it back out of the light, I guess. It's a pretty good camera. There it goes. See the little tit on it? Well, it arcs out, and over time it corrodes. So it doesn't make contact. So what you need is just a little flat file. File it down. Till it's nice and shiny. And it's kind of contoured, so go with the contour of it a little bit. Just don't make it just flat, you know. Try to keep it contoured a little bit. And then just file it out till it's nice and shiny because it's just copper it looks like copper anyway get it all good and good and shiny you know I gotta tell you there's a guy on, here, on YouTube that's inspired me to do this I don't know if he wants me to use his name or not but I don't really care I'm gonna use it anyway his name's Musty One uh, and he does all kinds of videos, and he's really into I, I've made videos before, but not this type of video. There it goes. See, it's all nice and shiny now. <clears throat> anyway, his name's Musty One, and if you've watched any kind of small engine repair, you've had to have seen him. You know, it's not, it's not like it's any big secret. He's a really nice, well, I don't know how he is, but his videos are really well informed and good. He's fun to watch. So anyway, I just thought I'd throw that out there. And that's, again, that's what inspired me to do this type of stuff. So anyway, you just slide this little piece right here. goes straight up and down. Forgot to show you that. I, I get to talking. and So you can see it's squared up in that window. So it's, it's going down towards the bottom part. And it's straight up and down. So you pull this out. And you have to do the same thing to that. Now, a lot of times, what I've seen as well is these little solder joints right here on the back of it. You can see one. If I can get it in here, you can see one right there and one right below. Those solder joints will come unsnap or undone or break off or whatever. So, what you have to do is you've got to get some. Uh, solder and resolder <laughs> you know heat them up and resolder them but anyway if you can see on this button as well there we go you see the little dead spot in it where it's kind of where it's where it's arced over right in there yeah so you basically just do the same thing to that you just file it off and I should have started this video showing that I didn't have, because I tested it with the ohm meter and I didn't have anything. So I knew the switch had gone kaputski.
and that's kind of pitted. And you can tell when you start filing it, it won't go away because it's been pitted out from arcing over so many times. Because basically, you know, you're, you're creating a little arc right there every time you every time you jump it. So I'm just going to slide that back in there. I'll just take a pair of needle nose and grab it. And there's a little slotted groove right there. It's not real hard. Well, it is if you're not looking at it. But anyway. Well, it. It's on my slide in a second ago. Oh, come on. There we go. So anyway, there it is. It's all nice and cleaned up and shiny in there now. So, if you didn't lose the spring, which you don't want it to touch that, you don't want to mash it on that little gold piece. It, it actually goes around it like that. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, see, it actually goes around it. It's completely around it. Then you put your little uh, gold tit in. Gold, copper, whatever color it is. And then you... Let's see. How did I do this last time? Yeah. You just kind of got to... There you go. And you slide that front end in first. And then you slip the back end in. And hold it. And don't let it go. Because it will take off on you. And my pen is knurled on one end. Or not knurled, but uh, it's got a... You can see, there it goes. See the little, little button head on it? So it only goes in one way. Don't drop it. And generally I would give that a little lube. Just because... And what you got to do is find the hole. And then just push it all the way down there. Until it's down. You can see it. You know what I need for these videos? I need a little pointer. Well, for this fine stuff anyway. But you can see that it's... And push down right there. Let's get back on the line. There, now you can see it. See it right there? Pushed all the way down. So now, there it is. And we know the, the color of the wire is on this particular one red and yellow, green and yellow. They're all pretty standard. So, good thing to have would be some contact cleaner too just to get these switches cleaned out because they collect dust. They don't short out as bad as that one does. So I really haven't had to fix any of those. So I'm not going to go that deep into this switch. But some contact cleaner, take it apart, spray it out, put it back together. So let's see if we have any homage this time when we press it. I just shove it in the end of the, the receptacle like so. And I got zero zero. If you can see that, uh, if I press the button, <laughs> if I press the button, I should get something, but I'm not. Why am I not getting anything? Like? I am not getting it. Oh, I have it on bolts. My bad. There we go. Now it ohms out. See? And about two ohms for that length of wire is probably about right between the resistance and the button. But yeah, you got to put it on ohms. You can't put it on DC volts. That won't work. So anyway, uh, there you go. That should, that should fire up now. Uh, I'm going to stop this video here. And... I don't know, I'm going to put it on. I'm going to clean these switches out right here. I'm going to clean this switch out. And I'm just going to spray some contact cleaner on it. That's just the kill switch. So nothing too important. It just stops your bike. It's not, it's not as much fun as starting it. <laughs>
so anyway, guys, yeah, that's my first little video. Uh, if you guys want to see anything else, I know I don't have any subscribers right now. I may not ever get any subscribers. But uh, if y'all want to see anything in particular, let me know. I'm definitely going to do that wiring harness, show you how to, how to build one, uh, how to cut all the crap out of it, or what, well, actually just basically what you need of it. I don't have a spare one to cut up because I've already cut that one up. And I do have a good one. I don't want to cut it up. So, anyway, that's the end of the video, guys. Let me know what you think. And also, uh, I don't know. That's it. Bye. Let me tell you what. I'm going to go ahead and add to this video. This switch here is kind of screwed up, so we're going to see if we can fix it real quick. And normally, how I get these off is I just fingernail them and lift them. And pry the little. A little piece out, but it looks like I'm going to get it out. So, anyway, there's pry the sides of it up. And it should just be a simple little unit. There you go. So basically what you have inside is two little slides. Now be careful because those will come off because uh, they got little springs under them. So I'm going to dump it out. Make sure you orientate your little button. I mean your little screw hole. See there? The slides are on that side. So make sure you note that. And then when you pull these off, see the little spring in there? Go ahead and dump it out so you can see it better. There it is. See the little spring? So now you take both of them off. And what I like to do, just leave the springs in there. Actually, I'm going to turn this. Yeah, I'm just going to leave it like it is. Because knowing me, I'll lose it. So basically what I do is I'll take this. And there's, you can see the contact points on it. Well, you can if there's not too much light. Or if it'll focus. Okay, you see the little contact points right there? Right there, right there? I just kind of like to lightly file it. Just to clean them up a bit. Just to knock the trap off of them. So there's one. And they just rest in there across the top of the spring. I say that like it's simple, but you have know, big old fingers like me, it's very difficult. There you go. So I'm going to do the other one real quick. There you go. Set it in there. Kind of give them a little push down. And then this little socket needs to be cleaned up too. And you got to be careful on this because the contacts on it, they're not raised up real high. So just very lightly. give it a little cleaning and that really doesn't matter too much because you really kind of got to get down in a groove so it helps to have a file that's got a serrated edge on it which does this one yes this side is so it's got a it's got a file edge on it because each one of these kind of go you know they go like that and they get a little groove in them and they pop back up so basically you just kind of get to get those little grooves 
No, oh, maybe not. I was looking at that wrong. There you go. Lightly buff them. See how they shine now? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a couple little drops of oil right there. Cause see where it rusted? That's where it was getting stuck. Right there. There we go. You can see the little rust spot right there. So, put a little oil in it and we'll slap this mamma jamma back together. Uh, they got me some. That's just rural purple. I just use it for minor lubes. I don't. I don't use rural purple or anything, but stuff like this. I'm gonna put a little drop in each one of the little little indentations there, just to help smooth it along. And then basically, gotta put this back together. Remember, the little the little clips went towards the thing. And I guess I should have kind of showed you this earlier. But obviously, it screws down on this side, right, right there to that post. So you can assemble it back that way. And what I do is I take this, tuck it into its two pieces on this side, and then you just kind of have to finagle it, you know. You got to push it a little bit until it snaps in there. Which is easier said than done, that's for sure. There we go. But it'll it'll lock in. So let's see if that helped it in. Oh, it's still bound up. There it goes. <laughs> yeah, this stuff is sticky, boy. See, that's the problem I was having with it. It didn't want to go all the way over. I'm going to drop a little more oil down in there. Ah, there it goes. Nope. Still, there we go. Well, that's what happens when they get really bad. There it goes. Alright, got a little oil in it, that works. So anyway, with that being said, I might as well show you how to put it back together. So basically what you do, is you remember that little nub earlier, it goes in that little recess, you just kind of put it in there, putting the little thing in the front like that, you get it lined up, and you just, oh, I'm sorry, you didn't see that. Yeah, you know, you just press it in there. It just presses in there. Once you do that, you can take your little, that's the wrong one. Take your little screw. Put it back down in there. Just give it a little twist. Don't tighten it too tight. It's plastic. You'll strip it right out. Same thing with this. It goes down in there sideways with a flat part. See the flat part there? That's what bites the cable to hold it into place. Take the other rusty screw. Well, <laughs> you try. This video is going on a long time, and it goes. I'm sorry. But anyway, hey, you get to see me rip little switch. Isn't this fun? But anyway, there you go. Here you screw it down. And again, you don't want to screw it down too hard because it'll. But that's that's what holds your cable in there. So there's that. I am gonna put a little a little oil on the other side of this switch, not on the contact side but on the side where it locks in 
there's a little side right there, right in there, where it locks in. I'm going to put a little dab of oil in there, and a little on the rocker on the back of it, just, just right in there. I don't want to do it. I'll show you with the oil because I get it everywhere. So hopefully that will free that up. Oh, yeah, so it's pretty right up. Anyway, guys, that's the end of that. I'm going to put it on the bike and see how she works.